What's up guys, Rough here and I am back with another Genshin Impact video for you guys today and today we're diving in to all of the luxurious chests. I'm going to show you how to get all of the luxurious chests in the whole Liyue or and, and all the surrounding areas. We're going to get everything from pretty much right in this area below kind of where the Mondstadt area is, which I've done in my last video. So if you guys missed that one, go check it out. You'll probably want to get that one out of the way first. But this southern half of the map has a way, 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 way more chests. So we're getting all of these in this surrounding area. Yes, it goes all the way out in the Sea of Clouds as well. But it's totally worth it because we're going to get these chests, baby. So the first one is very, very simple. It's actually going to be up here in the mountain so we're gonna want to go and fast travel to kingsey village and see what it's all about all right so since i actually got this chest already uh when we get to the big room there's gonna be a lot more chests than just this luxurious chest so we're gonna fast forward i'm gonna get you guys there and once we're there i'll explain you know where they're gonna be so it's fast forward time baby let's go All right, now when you're in this room, it is filled with chests. There's one up here. There's like one or two over here. There's like some over there. There's one on there. They're all over the place. Now, of course, I said that I've done this one already. I don't remember off the top of my head if the luxurious chest is right here, or if it's in that corner, but it is in this room and just, just get all of them, obviously. Uh, the one other thing I wanted to mention, and I'm going to little do a little fast forward magic in the video and, and show you guys what I'm referring to, I cannot remember 100% if this door is open when you first get here. So when you first come in, if the door is open, great. You don't have to do the challenge. Grab the chest, call it a day. But if the challenge is necessary, I'm going to show you guys where that challenge is and a little, you know, just destruction of me breaking them, I guess, because it's a lot of robots. So you definitely, definitely, definitely want to come prepared. But again, I can't remember 100% if you need to beat them to open this room so come here either way this is where the chest is and uh if you do have to beat the challenge i will show you that right now <laughs> All right, now for the second chest, you're actually going to teleport to the King Yoon Peak. I, I swear, I'm sorry if I'm butchering these names. Uh, if you don't have this waypoint, you could travel here and climb to the top. But make sure, like I said, you have a decent amount of stamina because it's going to be a bit of a climb. So you're going to spawn right here. And if you climb up, you know, you're not going to actually have this burst of wind. You're going to have to complete a quest in order to get that burst of wind. So... I am going to walk you guys through that now you're basically going to walk around you're going to go to three different spots and pick up a little bird statue thing and by pick up i mean spin it in the direction so it lights up one's going to be over there another one's going to be over there and another one is going to be i forget where somewhere somewhere over there right there um so i'm going to show you guys that right now
All right, now that you've turned all three statues, we're going to teleport back here to King Yoon Peak, and we're going to climb right back up, and you're going to talk or read this right here if it hasn't already happened. Once that happens, you're going to be able to fly up here, and uh, then we're going to be well on our way. So let's go get this chest. Now, once you're up here, there's going to be a Geoculus right here, and there's going to be about three different chests uh, around this pillar, and one of which is going to be your luxurious chest. All right, so the next chest is going to be like three or four. I believe it's three, if I'm not mistaken. So we're basically going to go to Midland, and we're going to go to Tianyu Valley and teleport to this waypoint. We're going to be going right down here, and basically there's going to be a side quest we're going to do. You're going to actually get one luxurious chest during the side quest, and then you're going to get the rest of them once the side quest is completed, which I'm going to show you guys how to do it. So let's do this. All right, so now that you're here, I'm going to recommend that you put Amber on your team because you're going to have to light a lot of torches and in a specific order. And I would recommend having the main character with his Geo ability because uh, there might be another way of, if you have Venti for sure, but everybody will have the main character. Not everybody will have Venti. So I'm going to show the way with the main character that you have to climb a tower. You'll see, but uh, let's dive in. I'll show you guys what to do. And uh, let's get you some more chests. Right, now here make sure that you pay attention to the exact order that i actually shoot these with amber because it actually is going to take a lot of trial and error if you don't uh it basically works that the one you shoot basically turns out the two that are diagonal to it through the lines so of course if you want to figure it out yourself that's fine but this and the part above it if you follow it exactly how I do it, you'll get the chest super quickly. It'll make things way faster. Now, if you need it, because these are sped up really four times, go into YouTube. You can actually change the video to half speed or quarter speed if you need to slow it down at all. But uh, let me show you the fast forward and let's get you four more luxurious chests, baby. Let's go. And there you go, four more luxurious chests, but we have a bunch more. If I'm not mistaken, this is another two or three. I believe it's three, actually. We're gonna be going over to the Dunyu Ruins. So we're gonna swing right down here, teleport, and uh, then get you guys some chests. All right, so once you travel to this Statue of the Seven, we're gonna go to the Dunyu Ruins. Now, I again, I've already gotten this. There is a side quest. I'm going to explain what you guys need to do to 
actually beat the side quest is actually very very simple so first off let's get there and then i will show you guys how to do it All right, now for these chests, we're going to need Amber and you're going to need a Geotype character. It doesn't obviously matter who it is, uh, but basically you're going to take Amber. You're going to light all of these on fire. So you can see you got one there. You got one there. Jump right down here. There's going to be one right back there. And then right below us, there's actually going to be another one hidden right there. So use your fire arrows, light those up. And then you're going to take your Geo character. We're going to go back up there. And uh, I'll show you what we got to do there. So let's go. All right, as you see, we hit our Geo stuff. Boom. And then that is going to basically drain the water down there. Now, you won't have that airflow yet because you haven't done the actual uh, side quest yet. But let me explain to you guys how to do it so you can get the chest that's hidden there and the other ones all right so basically the first thing you're going to do is you're going to want to jump down here and there's actually going to be your first luxurious chest of the area chilling right here on the rock so snag that then we're going to drop right down here and you're going to have one of those little spirits up here climb up here he's going to run away you chase him and he's going to go right onto this little mushroom looking thing and then you're going to drop them off right there. Now, from here, we're going to run over in this area. And you're actually going to have to fight some enemies. So you're going to come up. You're going to activate this little challenge. Uh, and you're going to kill the people. Once you kill the people, boom, these doors will open. And your little spirit's going to be here. But he's going to fly right up in that hole. So just come out here. And you're just going to climb up and go through this window. Once you go through this window... You're going to actually get your second luxurious chest and the spirit's going to run away again. Once the spirit runs away, just jump out the window. You're going to follow him. I don't know what the, what what's up with that window. It wakes out every time, but you're going to follow him. He's going to go down to this mushroom right here. I don't know why they keep going on the mushrooms first, and then he's going to come here and that's going to be your second spirit to unlock the wind barrier. Now from here, we're going to run and climb back up there. And actually, it's where one of the uh, the fire shots we shot, there is a spirit hiding up there. So, of course, you can do this in any order. Uh, I don't know. I just find this order easiest, personally. But you basically just go in here. We're going to climb one more floor up. Hopefully not waste stamina. And it's going to be right back here is where the spirit's going to be. Now, once you get up here... He's actually going to loop around and come out this window. And then you're going to follow him because he's going to actually go up. I don't know why I'm calling it him. It whatever. You guys know what I mean. Uh, basically, just climb up back up here because that's where it's going to go. And then you get here and it's going to jump down. And then you just follow it back down to the third one. Again, it's going to jump on this little mushroom right here. And then it's going to go right in there. And that will unlock the barrier and get you another chest which is going to be chilling right on this rock all right so the next one you're still going to need a geo character so keep them in your party but we're basically going to go right above mount tianhang and teleport to this waypoint right here and then let me show you where you guys need to go All right, so basically from here, we're going to go outside, guys. Just follow me out there, and we're going to talk to the painter and start the side quest for Lahua Landscapes, and then I'm going to explain to you guys what you need to do from there. All right, so once you activate the quest, you have to hunt down his paintbrush that's set or something like that. But it, there's no directions at all. So basically, look at this map right here where the two red circles are. We're going to teleport to obviously you can see the waypoints. We're going to go and then start the next part of the quest. So let me show you where they are.
All right, so once you get back to him and hand them, it's going to update it to unravel the secret behind Lahua Pool. He's going to give you these two little balls, and you're going to go put them inside these giant statues. So let me show you where the statues are. Let's go put them in, and let's get this next chest. All right, so now you see why we need the Geo character. So use your Geo ability. A bunch of people are going to get summoned. You beat them up. You get the chest. That's how we do. All right, so we're going to teleport to the waypoint right about Mount Tianhang. I have no idea if that's pronounced right at all. And we have to climb all the way over here. So obviously you can use this waypoint as well. But because this one over here is a little bit higher up, I think it might be easier. Again, make sure you have a lot of stamina because this is going to be a climb. So let's go and get there. All right, so we have two in Liyue Harbor and actually one a little bit closer. So let's go get them. The first one's going to be in a bank. I've actually made a video on this, but I'm not going to make you guys go watch another video. So let me bring you to the bank and then we'll go to the other one. All right, so once you're inside the bank, just run right back here and there's going to be a chest right in this back corner right here, giving you about 200,000 Mora. All right, now you could run back to this waypoint or teleport from this waypoint. It's your choice. It doesn't really make a difference. But once you're here, we're going to head right over in this direction. So let's do it. All right, now, once we get there, we're going to go out to this boat right out in the water. So we're going to have to climb up the cliff, dive off, and grab the chest on the boat. So let's get to the boat. All right, so the next three chests are in this area. So there's going to be one right back here in the water. It's actually going to be another boat. So we're going to actually go and fly to this boat and get this chest. Once we're done, we're going to teleport back and we'll go get the two chests on this island here.
now that we got the chest on the boat, we're going to go grab one of them on this island. So now you heard me say two before. Now I've been using a map and the map specifies that there's two. Now I don't know if that is a mistake. The problem is I've been to this island before. And again, I've been searching around trying to double check my work. And this is one of the chests that I could not confirm if this second chest was actually there or not, because nobody's really done videos on this. So the one is out in the open after you kill a bunch of the ruin guards. And apparently there's another one on the island. There's a bunch of chests, but again, I would say take that second chest with a grain of salt because I cannot confirm that it's there. But according to the map that I have, it is. So let's go grab the one. And if you're lucky, maybe there'll be one right next to it. All right, so the final one, and in my opinion, one of my favorites is actually a co-op specific chest. So it's going to be out on this island right here. We're going to teleport right to this. I probably should have zoomed out and showed you guys. Uh, we're going to follow and go right to this waypoint. And then once you're here, uh, you're going to need a Kaya to make an ice bridge. Now, what I would recommend, and I'm too lazy to go switch them back. Uh, if you have your main character... Uh, with the animo skills, not the geo skills. Um, you can actually come out here and use his right trigger ability, same as Kaya, and swap, hold it down, and it'll actually extend the bridge. It makes things a little bit faster than just waiting for Kaya's cooldown. So it depends on your patience level. If you want to know how to do that, uh, just go check out any of my other videos that I've made. I did the other luxurious chest one, and then I also did the secret island. Uh, guide and I actually show how to do the bridge thing with Kaya and with the main character but in my opinion at least here this one's not that far so I just didn't see the point to go back we're just going to use Kaya so once you get to the odd island I'm gonna show you what to do Now, if I'm remembering right, there's actually G Oculus up there, but I might be wrong, so don't quote me on that. But basically, you're going to hop in this heart, and nothing's going to happen unless you have a co-op partner. So basically, invite a friend of yours, or maybe find somebody in the comments, maybe. Honestly, join the Discord, discord.gg slash Uh, We have a Genshin Impact chat in there. And honestly, I feel like a lot of people, especially after watching this video, are going to want to be doing the, going to want to do this co-op. So... You know join it up and and that'll probably be a good spot for you guys to meet some people but let me show you some footage of me getting this we actually used the genshin uh chat in the discord with a community member to help me get this done uh it did glitch out a little bit uh so i had to restart my game by basically going out here and holding to quit and coming back in and then once i came back in the chest was there uh the one thing to keep in mind though is that the only the actual host can open the chest so if you're gonna help somebody you're gonna have to invite them then they're gonna have to invite you but keep in mind if they're a higher world level then they can't invite you so it's a bit of a bummer you're gonna want to probably find somebody that is your world level so that you can actually help each other out but I do think this is a cool little thing it's a little bit of a bummer that it's locked behind co-op but I feel like a lot of people probably didn't know about this because of that reason. So here it is. Let me show you how to get it.
Well, that was all of the luxurious chests in the Liu and surrounding areas, I guess. Uh, obviously, a lot of chests. I hope this video helped you guys out. I went through and got all of them, and I can tell you some of these, it was a struggle to find, especially because it doesn't really seem like anybody else has made a video like this, at least not one that I could actually find. So, like, a couple one-offs, I was able to find videos to assist. All right, where do I have to go over here that, you know, quests and whatnot? But this something like this, I couldn't find. So the fact that I went around and got them, I hope it helped you guys out. If this video did help you guys, be sure to click that like button. If you're new here and you want some more Genshin Impact content, click that subscribe button because I got a bunch more coming to the channel as this game it just expands and changes with updates and and just all kinds of things. There's so much to do in this game that there's obviously going to be so much more to do as the coming weeks and months go on. So guys, again, thank you all so, so much for all of the continued support. Let me know in the comments any other Genshin Impact style videos that you would like to see come to the channel. And I will see you in the next Genshin Impact video. Later.